Big scale, you have two minutes? <coughs> And I am going to keep everyone in two minutes because there's a, an important meeting that I need to get to. Okay, my, my two minutes begins now. Yes. First off, I am here to protest the uh, re-upping in the middle of the night, in effect, of uh, this town board and the town of Woodstock with Urgent, the Ulster Regional Gang and Narcotics uh, Trick. Um, in, this days, in these days of heroin addiction and other serious drug addictions, uh, a, uh, a scam that goes after people's assets for marijuana is counterproductive if we're trying to suppress uh, the use of hard drugs in a productive fashion. That's number one. Two, I must protest the reappointment of Paul Schultes Jr. Uh, on the uh, planning board because he is still actively, uh, as of this moment, pursuing some of our staff in ways uh, that he's trying to get still my staff to uh, quit on me and I've been told this by my staff and that's reprehensible and something needs to be done. Third, I'm passing out, Felicia just passed out uh, a memo from you, Kathy, regarding the creation of the community center where down at the bottom it says uh, that, and you can read it, I'm not going to take my time, uh, that there is supposed to be a separate entrance that will not interfere uh, with the uh, activities in the front room. Uh, most of the time that I've gone to the community center, uh, and just last Sunday, the handicapped ramp, as it's uh, uh, demeaningly called, was locked. And I had to get her to come in and unlock it for me. Three of the other times we've been there, it was blocked by ladders placed there by the performing arts of Woodstock. I would like to challenge the town board to have, a, to have one of its upcoming meetings at that community center so we can all bask in the beauty of what you people have created and also be able to show firsthand the problems that have not been addressed. Sounds like a good idea. Please do it. Next. I am sure. A second in the moment. Another thing that I spotted in the suggestions from the planning board about the uh, changes to the zoning law mm -hmm. in the use table. Mm -hmm. Currently, you can have a drive-in movie in any of the uh, districts. Mm -hmm. But they're suggesting a change, which I think is totally ludicrous, to allow a drive-in movie in the LI and SLI. I mean, you can't have like a drive-up window. I mean, we say so many things that you can't do, and yet they want to put allow a drive-in movie. You know, those drive-in movies they have big screens, and you can see it from you know, miles around. <laughs> so you don't like that change? No, I think it's ridiculous. It's a huge parking area. And the parking, and I ju I just don't know where their heads were when they decided to now allow it in those two districts. So I wanted to point that out to you so you don't miss that one. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, I don't know when you were thinking of taking down the signs on Maple Lane for the no parking on Wednesday. They're still up. Taking down the what? The signs, you know, for no parking because we have the farmer's market. <laughs> They're still up. There's five parking spaces. I will... Um Talk to Jeremy yeah. and see what, what we've done. They've taken them They down have the taken them down. Well, the it would be a highway department. That's yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike uh, usually yeah. does that. So I just wanted to let you know that they're still up there. And if anyone believes them, there goes five parking spaces. Good. Okay. All right. So, a couple of you got the minutes or anything? Yeah. I, um, just a quick review. I attended the uh, library uh, meeting. And, uh, I just wanted to let you know the new officers of the uh, library board. So the new president is Doris Goldberg. Who? Doris Goldberg oh. is the new president. The vice president is Dorothy Marcus. The treasurer is now Barry Miller. And the secretary is now Barry Samuels. It was a very nice meeting. They welcomed me back. Thank you for filling in for those months I couldn't do it because of my pleasure. family schedule. And um, it was a good meeting. And uh, let's hope that they seem open to doing the right thing for the community. And let's 
hope it moves out along, you know, well. And I enjoy being back there. So. Good. So I just wanted to uh, make mention that um, we had, as a board agreed, um, we had a list of about nine questions that we had forwarded to both our um, the water rights attorney and the DEC, oh. mainly for the DEC to answer. So I don't know if you've noticed, but in the book of order, there is a response from the DEC I didn't get to um, in there. And I would just, you, you can print that, and what we're going to do is I'm going to give this to Jackie this evening, and any members of the public would like to take a look at it. Um, the first uh, two or three pages is Jeremy's letter from the, the board to the DEC, and then the, uh, the response back. And uh, that's all been forwarded on to our attorney to digest and see where he stands. You need this knife to take the staple out. <laughs> the other uh, thing I wanted to um, mention to the board, we've had this zoning packet from the planning board for a couple of months now. And we've also had the um, proposed amendments for the um, Act of Protection. Um, and Jeremy asked me to see where you guys were with that and if you felt we were ready to take it to the next step and start the secret process. Uh, yeah. You are? Okay. And Jay? You're good yeah. with Yeah. Okay. So I'll let Jeremy know that and he can start to um, fill out those documents. Mm -hmm. start. I got a question on <coughs> Do you then start with the exact packet that you received, or you kind of go over it yourself, modify it to the way you think it should be, and then go through the process? I think, I think you know, we've all made some suggestions about tweaks and whatnot that I think are made. And the, the, the packet can be continued to be tweaked. You know, we'll have a public hearing. We can take and make suggestions and, uh -huh. and modify. Yeah, because I, I mean, I'll, besides the two that I had mentioned about the, the hotel one and, mm -hmm. and the one tonight, you know, I have some others. That, you know, if you kind want to get a list of, into yeah, to, to Carrie. Get a list of Carrie, she can email it. Or if you can she bring can it to me, I can, I can scan it and send it to Jeremy. So I, I've got I, I, but when you do, send it to the whole yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, some, yeah that's some of them are just. Give Things us the whole means, brutal list. Yeah, no, no, actually I don't. I yeah. like a lot of the changes yeah. and I've read it twice already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah. Give me the changes that yeah. you want yeah. to see the, happen. The two biggest were the ones that I actually mentioned yeah. and then, then just some corrections. So. Right. The other thing is um, there's been in the purple folder for a while now, there's a, a cooperative agreement. Um, for the Ulster County Emergency Response Team, which we have been members of for quite some time. And this is um, just, it's the same contract, nothing has changed except the dates. Have you guys had a chance to take a look at that? Do you have any questions, concerns, or feel like you can move forward with that? No? No. Okay, so I'm, I'm, then I'll make a, a motion to uh, authorize the supervisor to sign the Ulster the cooperative agreement with the Ulster County Emergency Response Team. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, so go ahead and tell Jeremy to do that. Uh, the next is uh, another, um, to authorize the highway superintendent to go to bid for the Yerry Hill Bridge. Be it resolved to authorize the highway superintendent to go out to bid for the replacement of the Yerry Hill Bridge plans and bid specifications available beginning January 19, 2016 with the Office of the Highway Superintendent, 3218 Route 212, Bearsville, New York, 12409, and the Office of Steinmeier Engineering, 15 Railroad Avenue, Suite 201, Kingston, New York, 12401. Keep going. Sir. Keep going. Take two. Oh, yes, yeah, thank oh. you. Be a further result, the bids must be received by the Highway Superintendent, Mike Reynolds, at the address above no later than 10 a.m. February 12th. 2016, when bids will be open at 1 p.m. Second. All in favor? <laughs> aye, aye. Okay. And uh, then we have a motion to resolve to waive the fee for the use of the town hall by the Woodstock Library on January 28, 2016. Uh, question. 
Yes. Uh, what is that for? What are they going to be having? A dance? Or you, you, you know, Jen, let me just, I, I have an email and it's been a while since I looked at it because this, this came in some time ago. Just let me see if I can do that. Okay. I, 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 I will tell you that we also have, we'll probably next week have a request for family of Woodstock and the Route 212 Coalition uh, for the same day Later in the evening, I think it is. Directly. I don't know if it's later in the evening. One's at the town hall, the other one will be at the community center. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I think the library, if I'm not mistaken, was just to have a bigger meeting place. Are they starting to meet back with the public? Yeah, but there was a specific thing. No, there was a specific, specific thing. Just thing. Jill Fisher. Okay, asking. they wanted to discuss the center of the hamlet. No. Thursday, January 28, 7 yeah. to 9, they wanted to use Town Hall. Mm -hmm. But does it say what? And I'm just in my notes. What did Jill Fisher come before the board for? Um, you mean the library? Oh, you know. Remember she was here? Yes. yes. yes, yes. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember either. Is that terrible? Um, because she also she, really she, knows she, she that is involved with that. Job. She talked to us at Ends. She, she is involved with that, and I think she or her husband are doing it was some oh, sort of survey. Yeah, yeah, right it was a survey and, uh, for historic, yes, for yes, historical yes, status. Yes, right. and it was to discuss yes. the center of the hamlet. Yeah, center yeah. of the hamlet for yes. historical it's, status. It's an okay. architectural panel event. Yeah. That's all it says. Yeah, because of the different buildings and that type of stuff. And actually, so. that's what they said at the meeting. They were bringing it to the architect. So that's what it was. To discuss the center of the hamlet. Okay. So are we in favor of waiving the fees? Pardon? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, then there was another issue that came up. There was a letter from the building inspector about uh, in fire inspection fees. And they have never charged the fire departments for the fees, the fee. They just go out and do the, uh, the, the inspection. But yeah. Ellen feels like, you know, she just needs to cover herself and just see if we're still good with that policy. I, I, I spoke with Jeremy and he is, and his feeling is, and I agree, that you know, why dip into the pocket of, they, they, they have the same taxpayer granted a couple of firehouses are privately owned, but they're providing a service to the entire community. Uh, and for that matter, the, the library, I would say, is in the same public, so, um, okay. so we're in agreement that those fees should be waived. So I'll make a motion that uh, the, the fees for the firehouses and the library be waived for the department. Second. All in favor? Uh, uh, so I'll let Ellen know that to the <coughs> That's it. That's it? That's yeah. it. Let's come out. All right. <laughs> okay. Where's Randy, I'd love to let you talk some more, but I want to go to that meeting. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a You mean the meeting on the uh, yes. Route 212? Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm ahead of you there. There's always next oh, week. Yes. Which pool is getting... Uh, All in favor. Third, All right. Aye. What meeting? The Route 212 Coalition. And you know what? Where are they having? Oh, okay. They, it's, they're dealing with the... Um,